channel if you guys are new here hi my name is vivian and in today's video as you guys can see from the title i'll be doing my april reset i've never done this video before but i've seen it circulating around youtube and i thought it will be fun to kind of show you guys behind the scenes and we are very close to april we're literally a week from april so i thought it would be a good time to do this video and also i've gotten a few questions on my skincare routine as well so i thought i could include that maybe update my reading vlog, update my calendar because I love planning my month out. And I hope you guys enjoy watching this. I hope this is something that y'all want to see. If you guys want to see more of these videos, please let me know. Right now, I am going to do a little bit of updating on my reading journal, which is why I wanted to turn the camera on. Today is the 25th of March, and I usually do a lot of my reading journal throughout the week because I do not like to do it all in one go. I just like to take time updating my reading journal. So I have a lot of book reviews that I need to do. So I thought I could show you guys that. This is my reading journal i have a whole video of me setting this journal up but basically i use a six ring binder i know a lot of people do like the book style like this but i don't like it i like the six ring binder because it allows me to take papers out whenever i want to i also need to do my reviews for the books that i read in the month of march this is my march spread so the beginning of the month this is what i do all the time i have like my tbr in the bottom here and then this is a calendar and i track the duration of the book that i'm reading then i have a book review page where i basically write down title author reading status genre favorite character page number rating there's even a spiced reading and this template i actually created myself if you guys are interested in the template please let me know i do have the template you guys can just print it out it's really easy and then i need to like fill in the reviews for some of the books that i read let's just film some b-roll and show you guys what i'm gonna do before i update my reading journal i need to actually work first because i do have some work stuff i need to do so i'm probably gonna update it after i'm done with work i actually have two jobs on the side my first job is that i own a paint by numbers online shop and so if you guys see paint in the background of a lot of my reading vlogs it's because i have work related to making paint the second job is i am in control of finances in a hotel and it is a family-owned business i work for my family basically so i'm trying to say which is why i'm very busy most of the time because i work a nine to five and then i have to do extra jobs on the side for my pay my numbers online shop and then i have to edit videos for youtube and all of that so if i say i have work i truly have work let's quickly do that and then i will update the reading journal once i'm done with work from walking my dog i did do some planning on my yearly planner so i have separated my reading journal and my yearly planner i did some planning on what i'm going to be uploading in the month of april i don't usually do precise planning because obviously you don't really know what's going to happen but i kind of have an inkling of what i want to upload every week this is my yearly planner and it's very simple i have a monthly planner and then there are the weekly ones and i typically use the weekly ones more than the monthly ones sometimes when i have ideas on what tiktok videos to upload i write them down on here and so they're kind of just like scribbles of my plan for the day now i finally have time to actually sit down and do my book reviews i have four books that i have not yet done the reviews for and i do need to print out the covers for them so i'm gonna print the covers out first and then i'm gonna write the reviews down I use a specific type of printing paper. This is actually sticker paper. It's only one-sided and I can just cut it out and it works like a sticker. It's really, really nice. It helps with journaling so much easier. I'm just gonna do some bureau footage while I journal. <laughs>
hello it is thursday 28 march today and i haven't updated you guys a lot because i actually had a very very heavy work day this morning and also yesterday and now i finally have some off time and i'm so happy because i am so tired at this point anyway i really want to do my ending stats page and also my beginning april calendar for my reading journal i do one of these every single beginning of the month and i want to do mine now for the month of april i decided that i want to do a green theme my january one is like like orange and then my February is pink and my March is beige and I think I want to do green for April I got some new stickers and I think this is really really cute there's a fox on it and then there are some green color stickers on here so I think I want to use this but I also have a lot of other green stickers sometimes I wonder why I buy so many stickers when I don't really use a lot of them I have these little paper stickers that we can use I also have these green like a wax seal type of stickers we have these Cute decorative stickers and then i need to make the stats page i'm gonna take out some stickers for that i'm gonna do a time lapse i think of me doing the spreads and then i'll just explain to you guys what i did and hopefully it's not gonna take me like two hours to do sometimes it takes me such a long time but i'm hoping that this will not take me a long time so i'm just gonna do a time lapse intermission before i actually continue on because i am not done yet this is taking me such a long time this took me one hour to finish i still cannot fill in all of the stats because i'm not done with the month of march yet i still have some books i'm reading so i'm not gonna fill them in but i have them all done here and then i need to make my april one i decided that i'm not gonna be using this sticker set i think this is gonna be really helpful for when i make my wrap up at the end of the month so i think i'm not gonna use this the main attraction these little cute foxes with the green backgrounds are gonna be the main so i'm gonna use this hopefully i get this done in like 30 minutes i keep telling myself i don't need help as I've expected, this took me like 30 minutes only, didn't take me as long as the stats page, but this is my April page. I really like it. I think it's really cute. As per usual, I have my calendar and then I have my April TBR. This list are basically the books that I picked out on my April TBR. You guys can go and check that video out. The TBR prom jar picks my April TBR video. And then I just basically use a little bit of stickers to decorate. I made it like a yellowy green instead of the bluey green. Now I'm done with my reading journal update. I need to go and film my reading vlog because i am in the middle of a reading vlog right now so i need to read the book for that reading vlog and so i'm gonna go and do that i think i'm gonna come back to you guys there at night to show you guys my skincare routine maybe i'm gonna take a break i'm gonna read my book i'm actually really excited to go and read because i feel like i really want to read but i haven't had the time to read i'm gonna go and film my reading vlog now so as promised here is my nighttime routine i first off use a cleansing oil i do not like this cleansing oil i do not recommend it but basically i need to clean the gunk off my face so i use a cleansing oil and then i wash it off and i use a cleansing foam to wash my face this brand i really like so i do recommend this one i first foam this up on my hands and then i put it on my face and i wash it for about 60 seconds before i wash it off with water and then we go in with toner i use a toner pad first i really like this brand too on was heart leaf clear pad and i just wipe my face with the pad and then we pat it in and i go in with a serum i first use a centella asiatica serum this is from skin 104 i really like this it's completely 100 percent centella so it's really good for your skin i then go in with the real hyaluronic blue ampule by wellage this is also hyaluronic acid it's really hydrating for your skin really good for your skin if it's really dry pat it in and then i sometimes use retinol but today was not the day i use the effaclar duo plus m this is technically an exfoliant it is salicylic acid with bha lastly i use a moisturizer this is a cicoplast v5 i don't use this anymore it's too thick on my my skin but it's still a really good moisturizer if you are very very dehydrated but yeah that is it for my skincare i want to reorganize my bookshelves that's kind of the plan today kind of random i didn't actually plan on doing this but i was looking at my bookshelves and i really hate it so i'm gonna reorganize my bookshelves i do not want to make a separate video so i'm just gonna put in my april reset video even the word april but it's fine this is going to be the last part of this 
whole vlog so i do not like my shelves i think the last time i reorganized it was i think months ago i uploaded a whole video about it, it has gone really messy because i've gotten obviously i've gotten more books since then but i don't have enough shelving space and i do not want to buy another shelf because i'm going to be moving out soon i'm in my childhood house by the way and i'm going to get married soon so i'm going to move out and i do not want to buy a shelf and then have to like pack everything and then move out so i am just going to work with what i have and i am going to try my best to figure this out some things that i do want to change up the two shelves that are like here and the one down here that's like hidden technically hidden behind my table i'm not gonna touch those two the rest i'm gonna rearrange so that i can actually fit all of my books how we're gonna do that i do not know how to do that i'm still very confused i love this shelf but i think some books has to go because it's getting way too tall like this stack is getting way too tall then i want to make a sports romance shelf because i realize i have a lot of sports romance books and i read a lot of sports romances and i really want to get a shelf of sports romances what i'm thinking is in my head we're gonna do something with the cassandra claire shelf and then the shelf i have in here is red black and gold-esque shelf i'm gonna try and rearrange this but i think we're gonna keep it the same i'm gonna try my best to make space on these two shelvings because i do have space in this one and this one i just am too lazy to make space so i think i can make more space and then i want to rearrange all of the books that are like down here that you guys cannot see standalone own romance books some of them are like magic realism books but basically the ones in the bottom there i want to reorganize it's currently in a rainbow style i want to keep the rainbow style but i want to kind of rearrange it so that the rainbow is more cohesive and that i have more space everything is really messy right now so we're gonna see how it goes also this one here is like my sjm shelf that i just do not want to touch i want to sell some of the books here because i have decided that i will not be reading sjm books anymore and then the ones in the bottom here are basically a lot of books that i read when i was like in 2015 hunger games the maze runner the selection first of all i'm gonna take out all of my sports romance books i have some on this shelf and on this shelf and then we're gonna rearrange my cassandra claire shelf so i think that's what i'm gonna do first where do i start Feel your breath in my lungs to you Do, do I love the taste of your tongue Got a taste of your love in her One, you And it goes way beyond the chemistry The kind of friend that I can never have platonically And they don't know about what's going on behind the scenes But they don't need to I swear I'll keep it between you and me What we do in yeah. rearranging my tbr cart and i realized i could talk about the books that i just recently purchased yesterday i bought some books i posted a tiktok of my bookstore vlog i'm pretty sure that one is gonna be up before this video so i thought i would show you guys my book haul in this portion of the vlog we're gonna talk about the rearrangement of the bookshelves after i'm done with this book haul so give me a sec i bought a few books because there were some new releases i really wanted to find the first book that i was looking for was the rule book by sarah adams i really like sarah adams writing the only book i did enjoy from hers was practice makes perfect so i still wanted to get one of her new releases i think it is in the same world universe as the cheat sheet i'm not gonna lie i don't know anything about this book so when they reunite years later in this enemies to lovers second chance romance okay i didn't know that the mmc is in the nfl he's the nfl tight end and then the fmc nora wants to become his agent and they used to date when they were in high school and then i got my dark desire by lj shen and parker s huntington this is actually the second book following my dark romeo and i didn't have the best time with my dark romeo but my friend read this and she said that it was actually not so bad of a read so i just got it i love the cover the cover is beautiful i honestly was very tempted to get my dark romeo but i didn't really enjoy that book so i just in the end got this one it's apparently like a cinderella retelling <sighs> okay <sighs> got my dog and then i got the reappearance of rachel price by holly jackson this is another new release that i really wanted i haven't finished the good girl's guide to murder series not because it's not good but because it's really creepy and scary so the last book i have yet to finish as good as dead i'm gonna get into it very very soon i got this one i think it's a standalone i don't think it's a part of a series or anything i also once again don't know anything about this book and then i got the fake out and behind the net by stephanie archer i actually read these two books on the kindle and i rated behind the net four stars the fake out was like 4.25 so yeah i got the physical copies because apparently they got traditionally published i didn't know that i wanted to collect it so i got it and the last book i got this was not planned where the dark stands still by ab pornick i've never heard of this book before i also have never heard of this author before but i read the back of it and it looked really interesting seems like it's a gothic 
type of fantasy romance it gives me like house moving castle vibes but like darker than that i'm just gonna read the back for you guys raised in a small village near the spirit wood liska rados knows that magic is monstrous and its practitioners monsters after liska unleashes her own powers with devastating consequences she's caught by the demon warden of the wood the less Z offers her a bargain, one year of servitude in exchange for a wish. Whisked away into his crumbling manor, Liska makes an unsettling discovery. She's not the first person to strike this bargain, and if she wants to survive the year and return home, she must unravel her host's spool of secrets and face the ghosts of his past. Those who enter the wood do not always return. So that's my little book haul. I'm gonna talk quickly about how I rearranged the bookshelves. So this shelf I did end up reorganizing because I needed some space, and I decided to just stack these books up and then put Happy Place in the middle and include my Fall Lady Fortune and Fall Heart Huntsman copies here because at the moment, I don't know where to put this. I also decided not to move anything on this shelf because I felt like this actually looks okay, so I didn't move it. And then for this shelving, I stacked this pile here so that I can actually add more books. I did a lot of editing in this shelf. I literally just made this super full and I decided to just put a lot of my fantasy romances here. I stacked these up, I hid those two. And then for this shelf, I also decided to combine all of my Jennifer Lynn Barnes book. Let's just ignore this pile here because I do not know what to do with this. And then I put Divine Rivals and Ruthless Vows here because it matches the vibe of these books. I didn't do anything with this shelf. I just added this duology here because I don't know where to put those. As for this shelf, I made some space here because my Magnolia Parks copy is with my friends, so it's currently empty. And then this is my sports romances. I decided to move this here in the middle. Here are my sports romance books. These two I just purchased, so this is a great stack. I'm really happy with this. And then the last shelving here, I decided to just go from pink to purple and then I have a little bit of like pinks here as well because I do not know where to put these and then at the end these are like just random books I don't know where to put that I don't think fits the vibe and then I have my penguin cloth bound classics that I will never probably ever read this is the rainbow shelf I think I'm just gonna keep it like this for now and maybe when I have more books to add in I'll rearrange it before. with that being said I'm gonna end my April reset vlog here because we're in the month of April already there's no reset situation going on this vlog should just end right here so I'm just gonna end this vlog here thank you so much for watching this video hopefully this is a little fun vlog it's my first time doing this and also this took place in like two weeks i hope it's fun to watch i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye <laughs>